Hello, this is a short look and see video on my favorite hiking and general outdoors. Clothes meaning the British Army, lightweight compact jacket and trousers, and I have a couple of versions of these, and I decided to make some kind of review and comparison video. And when I say this is my favorite, favorite clothes, I, it means that I've been wearing only these lightweight compact trousers in DPM camouflage for the last two years because they are quite comfortable and very functional. And I also use this primarily on all well outdoor activities. Now this is of the, these both are in the old Combat Soldier 95 uh, design and of course these been now replaced with the PCS version personal clothing system version and of course those are a little bit different but uh, this DPM version and the multi terrain pattern version are almost identical there are little differences uh, let's go first to the details that are similar now the combat jacket or a shirt has two good cargo pockets in the chest area and of course because it is the British clothing system, we have a rank tab in the front. And if you don't like the rank tab, you can easily remove it by opening the stitches here and removing this button here. The sleeves have buttons for tightening the colors and or cuffs. And the sleeves are nice and well, roomy, so if you want to basically just roll up your sleeves, you can easily do that. So on warm weather, this is excellent. I've noticed that this is not possible on every, let's say, civilian lightweight jackets, but as it is military, everything goes. And in the front, we have a storm flap with the button closures and in the DPM version there would be a zip. In the multicam, multicam or multi terrain button version there isn't any zip because this is intended in hot, hot environments and uh, of course the zipper would well restrict airflow and it is more cooler with just buttons closed. Of course in the DPM version if you don't like the zipper you can choose not to use it or you can easily remove that as well. I have done that for some of my jackets to keep them well more light and let's say more breathable. Now also we have very nice color in both both color options but the second difference between the design of this is that in the multi terrain button version we have a button here so you can have this quite easily up like this but I would assume that the intended that you can have your color folded like this and now, now this look, looks very handsome and excellent now the trousers are also very simple in design and working in that aspect there are two large cargo pockets on the thighs then we have two normal pockets in the front and we have one back pocket uh, on the this side on the back side um, and there is white nice belt loops approximately six centimeters wide so if you have white belt well you can use that but you don't necessarily need any because there is a canvas belt on the trousers and that comes standard and then we have on both sides we have buttons to adjust the width of the waist line if you need to and on the openings of the leg of course as it is military gear there is this uh, well laces to tighten the openings and now what is the major difference between these DPM and multicam version is the weight or, and that reflects the material. The DPM version is 
let's say more heavier fabric, it's thicker and keeps water and wind much better. And of course the warm weather version of the clothes is more thinner, uh, doesn't keep wind that well, uh, doesn't keep water that well, so of course if this is designed for more or less desert environments, um, that's not an issue. Um, the material is actually in this multi-terminal version 70% uh, polyester, 30% cotton and in the DPM version it seems that it's 66% um, polyester and I think 33% cotton that should make 100% and so the material is almost identical. Um, as this is much uh, breathable and thinner material, there is a considerable weight difference, or I would say it's considerable if you look at the percentage, because now the DPM version of the jacket weighs 542 grams and this multi terrain pattern version weighs 480 grams, so there is appro approximately 60% weight difference, and that's over 10% difference. And in the DPM version, the trousers weigh 500 grams, and in the multi terrain pattern version, they are something like 440 grams, and that's also 60 grams. So in total, this warm weather. Uniform is 120 grams lighter, meaning so if you're a weak person and you don't mind the camouflage difference and you want to say waste, well, 120 grams is quite a lot uh, to say just in your clothes. Now, the weight, of course, the prices of these go well, there's a quite big, big range, especially if you go through eBay, but I would say that the reasonable price for the DPM version is, well, I would say 50 to 60 euros brand new, and I would say 60 to 70 or to 80 euros for the older version, and this first generation multi terrain uniform, that, that is this one, seems to be a little bit rarer now, it's starting to be a little bit collectible, so the price of course is a little bit higher and they are much harder to find than the DPM version. It seems that the PCS version of these jackets and trousers are more easily available than the generation first. Now, that's about it.